Why do Catholics use images when the Bible condemns in Exodus chapter 20, verse 3 to 6? Yes, God condemns it, but five chapters up, same book, Exodus chapter 25, verse 17 to 22, God commanded Moses to make an ark and a seat of mercy on top, and he is to install what should surprise you, two angels or cherubims. And so the question becomes, does God totally condemn the use of images in worship? I will tell you, God does not totally condemn it. In fact, in the Bible, the prohibition of using images is only relative and not absolute. Here are the reasons. In Numbers chapter 21, verse 8 to 9, God commanded Moses to make a bronze image of a serpent on a pole so that all who were beaten by poisonous snakes may look at it and be cured. Furthermore, in 1 Kings chapter 6, verse 23 to 29, when Solomon built a temple, he had all the surrounding carved with figures of cherubim and palm trees and open flowers. And after he has constructed the temple, in 1 Kings chapter 9 verse 3, God said, I have consecrated this house you have built, that my name may be dear forever. My eyes and my heart will be dear forever. If making images were an absolute prohibition, God would outrightly rebuke him as he did in the case of Aaron and the molten calf of Exodus chapter 32 verse 7 and Eight. Hey, I heard someone say, but why then do Catholics bow down to images? Is that not idolatry, giving worship to images rather than to God? Listen, bowing down or kneeling or prostrating does not necessarily mean worship, but respect. For example, in Genesis chapter 33 verse 3, Jacob bowed down to the ground on his knees seven times to his elder brother Esau. I tell you again, 1 Kings chapter 1 verse 16, Bathsheba bowed down to her husband David. And in 1 Kings chapter 2 verse 19, Solomon bowed down to his mother Bathsheba. Does that mean worship? In fact, in Revelation 3 verse 9, John records the words of Jesus saying, Behold, I will make those of the synagogue of Satan who say that they are Jews, but are not, but lie. Behold, I will make them come and bow down before your feet and learn that I have loved you. This simply indicates that there are different categories of bow or worship. There is worship in the loose sense, that which could be interpreted as respect, and worship in the strict sense, which is adoration given to God. We have the latria, which is the adoration due to God alone. This is clearly different from the relational worship we give to ourselves to indicate respect. To wrap up, I ask you, if I were to keep a Bible on the floor and ask you to stamp on it with your feet, as a Christian, you would certainly refuse even if I pursued you saying that all I see in the Bible are all texts written on paper, you will perhaps say it is the word of God. Though it is written on paper, it symbolizes and represents and points to God. Therefore, you respect it. In like manner, Catholics respect images because they point to the person whom we wish to honor and respect. God bless you.